Suez, like on the back shoulder, and then Henry Pearson after he got behind the secondary, just sort of the command that Worley seemed to show today? Uh, well, it's hard for me to speak on today because I don't really get to, you know, um, you see the throws and catches and things like that, but um, on film he's been looking really good. Timing's been been great, you know, um, and that's that's really due to a lot to the uh, off season because you know they got a lot of throws in and you know they're just on the same page right now and it's it's really working out for them. What's the biggest difference you see in Justin day in and day out, huddle in and huddle out? Probably just his leadership, and that's one thing that he was also working on this off season is his leadership qualities, and they've definitely carried over to the field. Um, you know, he's definitely taking command of the huddle, and uh, you know, you can, you know, that that's definitely somebody that you want to block for whenever he's just in there. You know, confident, knows what he's doing, but uh, you know, it's a good feeling to be blocked for him. A couple of guys out on the offensive line today for you know obvious reasons the coach told us, but how valuable was that opportunity for? continuing to build depth, whether it's Wiseman or, or Coleman or any of those guys? Uh, very valuable, especially some of them younger guys. I think it really just put it into perspective that we're one or two guys away from them playing and getting on the field. So, uh, you know, they definitely have to be ready. And, uh, you know, about a week we have for our first game. And, you know, they, they have to definitely be ready to step in if something happens. And, unfortunately, injuries do happen. We don't want that to happen. But, you know, whenever they do, we got to be ready to fill the spots. How do you feel? It's, it's the end of camp. It's been a long grind. How, how close to 100% are you considering all you guys have been through? Um, well, you know, right now we're still recovering, coming out of camp, but definitely by the first game we'll be 100%. Coach Jones, I know he's going to be taking care of us. He's got our back day in and day out. So um, whenever it comes time for the first game, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're all going to be stepping on the field 100%. How do you feel about the combination you all had going at the line this past week and how it was out today, but just this five you all have um, I'm feeling pretty good about the, the the start or you know the the front five right now that we're going to be, I guess, starting Utah State with. Um, we just got to keep progressing, keep working. Um, the main thing going into this game is just uh, assignment sound. Really, um, we got to we got to get in the film room, which we have been, and just just continue to study and and know what we're doing before the play starts, and that's going to be a big key to our success this upcoming game. Coaches at times have talked about the shotgun snaps in this camp. Has that been a, a bit of a surprise issue creeping up, or has that just been preseason camp stuff, or what's been going on with the snaps? Um, well, I, I don't believe I've had any problems with them. Um, it's been the other guy trying to learn the position or something? Well, it, you know, we've, we've been having to move some guys around, guards uh, moving to center, um, even some tackles playing center. Just for depth purposes, you know, I've been uh, getting some guard work. Everybody's been moving around just because, you know, we do want to have um, – the ability to switch around if we need to. So it's it's really just getting the full speed rest with the other guys that, that aren't used to playing uh, center position, really. You know, those young guys, you know, you, you all talked about having to talk to them about, hey, you know, you can't be a freshman, you can't be a retro freshman, you gotta, you gotta play like an older guy. Are they starting to understand the importance of that? Is, it, is that soaking in what y'all are telling them? They are, and uh, like I was uh, saying earlier, um, we had two guys out today, so some of the younger guys did have to step up and, and fill those roles. And, um, you know, like, like I've been saying, um, you know, we're one or two guys away from them playing. So they, they definitely got to they definitely got to be able to step up. And I think today even helped a little bit more with that. Mac, which seemed pretty animated, at least the part where, where we saw. Do you feel like you guys as a team and, and as an offense responded after we kind of had you guys gather around in there for early, early in practice? Uh, Wait, what? When no. you, guys had, you guys had a situational drill which kind of gathered you guys around them and kind of talked to you guys for a little while. Did you guys kind of respond after that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think we did. You know, Coach Jones, he, he expects a certain tempo coming out to practice. And uh, apparently we didn't come out to, to his standard today, which, you know, that, that's that's completely fine if, if he realizes it and we realize it and uh, we step it up. But, um, yeah, I think we did respond to it pretty well. And ended up having a having a practice that met his standard, and um, you know that that's uh, that's one thing that we've been doing a lot better is just if we do have come out uh, low or something, we we realize it pretty quick and fix it. Or you know if we have a spot during practice where you know, we kind of die down a little bit, we we've been coming back from that also. So you know we we definitely been improving on that, and I think that uh, we did also today. Justin was talking about how he wanted to become more of a leader this coming year. How has he kind of shown that leadership to the offense since the offseason started? What, what are some examples of that? Just taking more command of the of the entire offense um, in the huddle, being more positive, just coming up to us whenever it's been a hard drive or something like that, and say, "Hey, man, let's go." You know, it's a 
it's time to it's time to start stepping up right here. So just having having our backs and, and kind of getting us ready to go for each drive, and also just at the line of scrimmage, he's been doing a better job of uh, you know just just making the calls loud, being very uh, very positive with his voice and, and loud, and just letting us know that he's back there and, and you know he's uh, he's he has our back on every play. Um, probably midway through camp, I would say he really he really starts stepping up. How confident are you in the left tackle position? <laughs> Me in the <laughs> left tackle position? Well, I don't think my arms are long enough. But no, I'm, I'm, how comfortable are you? <laughs> oh, 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 I thought you meant it. No. I thought you meant if I went out there. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, yeah. The battle between the two practice. guys. How, how confident uh, are you that that'll that'll work out? You'll have a good guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 really confident. Uh, um, Jacob Gillen's been doing a great job. He's he's a very sound sound guy with his technique and things like that, and uh, he has a little aggression to him too, which is always good with offensive linemen. And um, you know, across the board, there's competition as well, and that's going to continue throughout the season. So left tackle spot, along with everybody else, is just going to continue to get better. Last one. I'm just wondering what you want to use this number as a name for your. I chose consistent, uh, mainly because I feel like, you know, an offensive lineman. If he's not consistent, then uh, the quarterback's not comfortable, the running back's not comfortable. So, I feel like one of the most important assets of an offensive lineman is just being consistent every day.